I don't know what to do with them. It may be a genetic thing. My great grandmother, and, and Joe knows this is a true story, when asked to speak at a funeral, once stood up and said, When I die, don't bother burying me. Just shove a bone up my ass and let the dogs drag me away. <laughs> that was my great grandmother. I am genetically predisposed to suck at memorial shows. And, and it might also be because I believe that, that after your life ends here, there's no other place that you go. You don't you don't go up into the sky with a big invisible man. And, and I don't the big invisible man has a lot of weird rules. I don't particularly want to hang out with a big invisible man. I want to hang out with my little invisible friends. My visible friends. But again, I suck at memorial shows, I, I could be wrong. Um, the thing about that is people would say, Somebody would die and they would go, Bob's gone to a better place. And for years, I thought that meant they moved outside of Philadelphia. I'm like, Bob, Bob's up on the main line now. And they would say, no, 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 I'm going to live with the Invisible Man. And I'm like, I don't get it. I'm going to spend the rest of my life sucking at memorial shows. So what I believe is this. I believe that when you're done, it's like the four and a half billion years before you were here, except this time, you get to leave a lot of beautiful memories behind. And how good a person you were is judged by the beautiful memories you leave behind. And I only wish that Dan would have more time on this earth to leave more beautiful memories. And I wish I had something better to say about him, but I suck at memorial shows. And the fact that I suck at memorial shows is something you need to hear me say over and over again. You need to keep it in your head. Just think, Rodney Anonymous sucks at memorial shows. And the reason I'm saying this is because some of you have friends out there that you're kind of worried about, and you should probably just pick up the phone and just ask them how they're doing. Just check in on them. If I had checked in on some people, I would have had to go to a lot less memorial shows that I sucked at. Woo! I really have some friends out there who are engaged in some risky behavior, like unprotected sex with a Kardashian. I'm sorry you had to hear that. And just call them up. Call them up and say, hey man, I was wondering how you're doing. Are you okay? And if they say, well, what do you care? What business is up in New York? Just say, Rodney Anonymous sucks at memorial shows. And if you die, he's going to get up and he's going to suck and it's going to be difficult for him. I, I get so nervous, I asked Joe to make the set list. I thought it would be a good taste. So obviously I'm not the only one with memorial show issues. But... <laughs> The thing is this, if you're I had also to select thinking, from our repertoire. Yeah, I know. If you're if you're thinking, I always wonder about that band Spock, the band that does all the Star Trek songs. What do they do at memorial shows? <laughs> Gotta be rough to be them. But again, they don't suck worse than I do at memorial shows. If you're thinking about doing something really kind of stupid, like if a buddy calls you up and says, hey, let's spread Nutella on our genitals and tease the bears. Remember the time we did that? I wouldn't do that now, all right? Because somebody's going to get killed, all right? Somebody's going to get hurt, and I suck at memorial shows. I'm going to fuck your memorial show up. People walk up to me all the time. They go, oh, man, it must suck to be old. No. What sucks is dying young, okay? And what also sucks is me at memorial shows. So take the fuck care of yourself. Live to be old. Live to be very, very old. Outlive me so I don't have to fuck up your memorial show. Woo!